This is our Manal RFID Travel Wallet Review. Like all Manal products, it's smooth, it's sexy, it's minimalist, but it's also expensive. So is it worth the 80 US dollar price tag? That's exactly what we're about to discuss. Let's jump right into it. The gist of this wallet is it's lightweight, no bulk, and fairly functional. It boasts an RFID wraparound protection, which means that your credit card data is safe from any potential data thieves out there. And it's made from a very smooth, scratch-resistant vegan leather. The outside has super minimal branding, just Manal's foxy logo right there at the bottom. And we think the stitching, as it is on all Manal products, is really well done. All right, let's open the wallet up and talk about the fun stuff. We've got four compartments to discuss. First of which, this guy right here, which I'm gonna call the cash compartment. This is great for things like cash, but you can also store a SIM card holder in here or any other larger items that are flat. One thing that we like about this design is this little half circle cut is quite nice. It just gives you a little bit extra access into whatever stuff you are storing in this compartment. Next up, we have the passport sleeve. As you can see, this sleeve fits all passports or it can also fit a B7 size notebook. Pretty basic, but pretty effective. The passport just slides right in, nice and snug. It's also pretty secure in there as well. Flip it over to the other side, we got this little flippity flap right there, which is ideal for a boarding pass. And then finally, we have one, two, three card slots. The cards fit quite nice and snug in these slots, and each slot has its own little like circle cutout, which just helps give the compartment a little bit of additional expansion. And when the cards are in there, also quite secure. And then where we have leather, vegan leather, on the outside, we have a 150D microfiber lining on the inside. The material has a smooth touch to it, and you know, I like the shiny, glossy, geometrical design uh, that they utilized here. Pros and cons. Pro number one, made with super high quality materials. Pro number two is it's minimalist while still having just enough features and organization. And pro number three is the lightweightness of it. It's, it's just really light. But let's, let's talk about, about some cons. cons. With all these nice materials and the engineering and the quality stitching that goes into this wallet, it's pretty expensive. And con number two is while we do appreciate the minimalism of the design, I feel like at the price point, one or two more pockets and or features would have been cool. If you are going to make a purchase of the Manal RFID travel wallet, we do ask that you use the first link in the description. It's just right there. That link makes sure that you get the best price and it also helps to support our YouTube channel. Thank you so much. But maybe you're not quite sold on the Manal RFID travel wallet. You want an alternative recommendation. I got you. You might be thinking to yourself, dude, I need a travel wallet, but this one, 80 USD, I, I, I ain't got that kind of cash to put into my travel wallet right now. In that case, I recommend checking out the standard luggage travel wallet. It's not made with as high quality of materials, but it's got a ton of features and comes in at a significantly lower price point. We were really impressed in the review. To learn more about the standard luggage travel wallet, take a look down in the description and there you will find a link to our full review. Thank you so much for watching our Manal RFID travel wallet review. I had fun, did you? If you did, the best way to let me know is just to smash that like button. And also let me know in the comments below, are there any other travel wallets out there that you like totally digging right now? Or if you own the Manal RFID travel wallet, is it worth the $80 price tag? I know it's nice, but like using this on the road for years at a time, does it stand up over time? I wanna hear what you gotta say. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much, we'll see you next time.